first things first, I'm gonna set the render for micro polygon displacement, switch to cycles, and change to experimental. It's highly recommended to use the GPU for rendering. Now we can open the shader editor. With Shift A, add a plane. Now create the material. Pick any color. And for lighting, in World Properties, we can add the sky texture. Now Shift A and add the Gabor texture. We can find this texture only in Blender 4.3. Now add the displacement node. Connect value to height, then to displacement. In modifiers, add a subdivision surface. Enable adaptive subdivision, then click on simple. One more step in material properties under settings here in displacement change it to displacement and bump in render properties in subdivision here we can find the resolution the lower this value the better resolution we'll have but keep in mind that it will be heavier for your computer so any problem rendering Try to increase dicing rate render. Okay. In the Gabor texture, we can modify the scale, frequency, anisotrophy, and orientation. We can also switch to 3D. We have the same options, but we can modify orientation with this sphere in 3D. Okay, so now. We can add a color ramp and use it as a mask. We can move the bars to control the mask or we can change the colors from white to black or vice versa. Now select the texture and press Ctrl T, but you will need the Node Wrangler add-on if you don't have it. Just enable it in Preferences, Add-ons. Connect Mapping to Vector. And add a Mix Color. Then add a Noise Texture. And connect to Mix Node. We can increase Detail and play with Factor to mix the textures. Now let's add a noise texture, connect to height, again add a color ramp, we can increase detail in the shader, I'm going to set specular to zero and I want a darker color. Now in color ramp, click the plus button to make a new bar and move it to the right. Just change to a lighter color to add some displacement on top. Now we can mix it with the Gabor texture, add a mix color and place it before displacement. Now connect the Gabor texture and set the mix color to screen. Now adjust the scale. Now I'm going to connect the noise texture and just play with the scale. Now we can add a new mix color 
and add a Gabor texture here. Again, with Factor, we can mix the textures. Or add a Voronoi texture. And move the scale to randomize it. We can add a second color. Duplicate the shader with Shift D. Select both shaders and press Ctrl 0 on the numpad. Of course, pick a different color. Now with this color ramp connected to Factor. And we can add a new color ramp and just move the bars to control the mask. Or maybe we can create water in the mix color, set factor to zero. In the shader, set roughness to zero and increase specular. And now we need a darker color. We can add the bumps to the water with a noise texture, connect to normal, now add a bump knot, connect the texture to height and increase the scale and lower the strength. I want to clarify that this is only for Blender. There's no way to convert it to mesh, since it's not real geometry, it's a cycles effect. If you need to create a terrain to export, you can use the landscape add-on. I have a tutorial for that. Thank you for watching, see you next time.